So Wagner, we know that uh, recruiters or hiring managers, they check LinkedIn to hire people. And if they like a resume, they will go and find more information about this person. You know, what are their thoughts? Uh, how is their LinkedIn look like? So do you have any tips on how to use LinkedIn during the job search? You know, LinkedIn is one piece and you need to show up digitally is your profile. Just yeah. think about that as your profile and, and online presence is your online presence that's exactly it and how you show up is very important so under your name instead of putting your last title put what you are about for example i just changed mine to future work enthusiast mm -hmm. i'm I, i mean a talent strategy curious leader uh put what you are really believing in yourself sure. to be yeah but the other thing is I think networking is so critical. For so sure. when you are on LinkedIn, choose to seek the people. I did one day and I uh, this CHRO for a company and you have to use some tactful communication. So I said, this company hires the best talent. Of course, that's so and so opened the email because it was really flattering that I was telling them that they hired the best people. So they pay attention to me. Yeah. So you have to be careful how you ask because, oh, I hope to talk to you. Please uh, schedule time with me. That's not great. That's desperation. Because that is almost like you're demanding something from yeah. someone. One rule that I give everyone, and I think works beautifully for everyone, is focus on giving something of value before you ask for anything. For sure, yeah. Always, for your mentors or mm. anyone that you meet because yeah. reciprocity works but you can't start by demanding something. Yeah, I totally agree with you. I tell my clients and the students I help is that have a schedule. Uh, applying for a job is only one step. You need to network, you need to create content. And then whenever you're networking or sending requests, uh, be customized that request and tell about them. It's all about that person. How can I bring value? to yeah. them or ask them about what was your career journey it's all about them don't ask for a job don't be desperate but and again it takes time to have that relationship built and after a while uh, you can ask for help or you can say i know that your 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 company is hiring can you refer me or can you get me in touch with the talent acquisition manager and that's how it starts it takes time but it's all about what can you bring value to that relationship first I totally agree with you. One last thing I say, it's been very helpful to help my clients, everybody employees, to start creating skills-based resumes. Yes. So the skills goes on the top. Yeah. Then the chronology of your experiences is fine oh, sure. to this, but just identify your skills, your human capabilities, and put on the top. A skills-based resume is a much better tool than having just a niche uh, mismatched yeah. um, chronology. I totally agree with you. Thank you, Wagner. Again, for the audience, if you have any other tips, please leave them below and tune in next time for another great question with Wagner.